Hey guys, it's your boy. We're back with more Mall Fuji Pad content, and this time with Magneto bringing some more comparison action for you guys. Obviously, considering Ghost Rider, as we uh, found out that he's definitely about 500k, 600k better than Thor. Now, Black Widow has been better than Thor in ABX and she has been the best tier 4 striker for basically all the characters in the whole game. And now we are trying for Magneto. Now, Magneto again is not exactly the ideal candidate because he is so much RNG and uh, you know, even I've tried Thor versus Black Widow before and honestly the score was quite similar because of the RNG. So Black Widow uses the third skill which has the 100% proc. Also, Paralyze and shock on the skill. Uh, this guy does the fourth skill, which also has the paralyze. So if he replaces uh, Black Widow, he will replace Black Widow for all the characters. Also the 150% proc, so slightly better than Black Widow for the skill. Also the fourth skill does way more damage compared to Black Widow's third skill. So that's what we will be finding out in this video. Uh, so apart from that, I think everything is uh, at the place. Let's just go through the runs and let's see what we can do. So the teams will be exactly the same. It's Blast Villain ABX reset day. So we will be using Mysterio and Enchantress uniform as the support for Magneto. So first of all, I'm going to show you the run with the, I believe it's a Black Widow striker. Uh, yeah. So Black Widow has been the best striker for Magneto and all the other ABS character for a long time. I myself tier 4 Black Widow a month ago and if Ghost Rider beats her now, uh, that's gonna be a big, big hurt <laughs> to me as well. Because if he does, I'll definitely go ahead and probably tier for Ghost Rider on my own account as well. Now I'm using the friends account. Yes, I've been uh, showing the builds and everything. My IGN is Kosh12345 so you can definitely check it out. Uh, I don't have TFO Ghost Rider. Actually, I don't even have the uniform at the moment, but I will purchase the uniform probably tomorrow. We will see about that. Uh, I will. I want to do all the testing and everything. Then I'm gonna decide if I'm uh, like how much I do actually want to build Ghost Rider. But anyways, this works fine. And the best part about both of these characters is that uh, both of them have paralyzed, so it's easier to delay the rowers basically on any season for any character that's the best part i still have to see uh when does actually ghost Rider applies the paralyze i'll have to see that because for uh for like uh, black widow the paralyze is actually really i think it's in the i get the throughout the whole skill so yeah she she does pretty nice with that for ghost Rider, i'll have to check i have not checked in skill preview when it applies so we will see about that Although uh, I think tomorrow is gonna be the no restriction ABX, so I will be able to test out Ghost Rider uh, ABX versus Odin. So I will be doing a Odin versus Ghost Rider video tomorrow and letting you guys know about the results. And if Ghost Rider beats Odin, that's gonna be a big slap for the Odin guys. Then he's gonna be for only one alien hero day that uh, was owned by Star Lord, now it's owned by him. And maybe some uh, someone else might come along the way. Anyways, he's gonna be only one day, and then it might change your mind that you could actually give a judgment to Odin because he's so good with World Watch Legend. It depends if you really want to push scores or not. You can keep the build, but we will see though. Anyways, we're about 15 million here, so this run was a bit uh, could have been improved, okay? Uh, because you will see here when he actually went for the delay, I stopped attacking. And there was a reason I think I'm happy that I stopped attacking. He only did this for like two seconds. If I had used any other skills, that would have been applying the paralyze and he would jump. I would lose the whole damage from the skill. So I don't think like maybe a 100k improvement or 50k improvement could be made, but that's not gonna be much. Also, this was actually my very first run with Black Widow. So I'm not exactly playing with the RNG of Magneto to try for a better run. Absolutely, I can. Or I can get basically worse runs as well. So, first run, Black Widow is able to give me 18 million, uh, just over 18 million. So, that's how it is. Now, uh, it's time for me to take uh, you through the GR team. Uh, it's gonna look exactly the same. The striker is gonna be the only change really happening. Also, one more thing for people who have been thinking or who commented on the videos, I know they were like, there were a lot of. Uh, comments that i did not like i was not actually expecting on the first ghost rider tier 4 video when i did the 
what was that the uh black world comparison and you know for and anyways uh for those people who actually think that the collection is actually the one making ghost are this strong or whatever for every you know like whatever content he's playing or whatever uh this after this run i'm gonna clear some thoughts out of that so we will see uh about that we will talk about that when the run ends so this is his ghost rider obviously he is also applying paralyze by the way he also has burn so and also just his character so luna snow with the new uniform which we were kind of struggling well she could still cap on the burn season but burn season was really hard compared to silence and paralyze uh now if with the burn on ghost riders tier 4 burn season becomes even more insane with him because he's justice he will give full buff to ghost rider just like black widow was giving but he's going to be better and he's going to apply paralyze and he's going to apply burn so it solves luna's issues for the burn season as well so they did it in a really good way uh and like ghost rider now could be the most valuable tier 4 uh as he now has replaced thor for abl and we will see after this run black widow for alliance battle extreme so you can basically do just that you know basically one tier 4 and you don't have to touch thor the good thing about thor is that he has so many world boss legend tax so you might still want to do tier for him for the world boss legend stages he's very useful insanely i think he's probably the most useful tier 4 in the game for basically all the content so he still is there but thor came i think he was like the i think third or fourth tier 4 in the game or something i forgot and he has been insane since then anyways so as you can see the score the scores are very similar to the black widow run that we had and as i said magneto is rng you know he could score uh, he could score say 200k 300k lower and he can score 500k higher for you so I, again magneto is not exactly the best character to test things out but again we don't have any choices you know uh, for every character we cannot test so we're about uh, 16 million right where uh, slightly lower than black widow for now but we have been we have caught up right now so i think we had 17 million around 15 seconds or 16 seconds remaining with black widow and we have 17 million uh, around the same time as black widow so that's a plus now the prox kind of really screwed up on me here uh, i didn't have much skills under proc now the proc is going to go out after this one so it is not exactly the best run we got about the same score as black widow so it's safe to say ghost star is as good as black widow or better than black widow the procs were a bit bad in this run and it can definitely catch up and for those guys again who were saying tier for ghost star is Uh, this is a screenshot from uh, my buddy Max, and he's posted in the Smash chat. Yes, Ghost Rider is meta for ABX and ABL, and he has a tier three Ghost Rider without any collection bonus. So Ghost Rider still beats Thor and Black Widow at tier three, even if you don't have the best collection bonus and stuff. Sorry about the black screen; it just took the animation. So, yeah, he is. meta uh for abl and abx all the characters except maybe one or two depending on maybe like jean could be one uh or if you're using basically black bolt if you're using the then cable obviously probably is going to be the best for black bolt but yeah he is meta and she applies paralyze and shock so obviously like she was not the best for abl so paralyze was the key this guy has paralyze also has burn on the fourth skill so now he becomes the best of both worlds one tier 4 for all your problems abl abl abx i think he could be one of the most valuable characters even if you are not going to honestly tier for him i think i think you should definitely pick up the uniform if you are a pve player that's going to be a big boom and that will definitely help you out in the coming days absolutely uh, like striker values don't go out and black widow was the first ever speed tier 3 tier 4 in the game now she's getting replaced so if ghost rider is meta now 
there is a chance that he will stay meta for a long long time so yeah let me know what you think about the video what you think about ghost rider's value now i'll do the abx testing versus odin very very soon thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one